Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقَرَبُوا الزِّنَا And don't you go near zina. إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا Zina is a big sin, is a major sin. And it, it is misguidance. And it misleads people away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zina has a severe punishment in the hereafter and in this life. And the Quran in its commandment is so beautiful that it doesn't say do not commit zina. It says do not go near zina. لا تقربوا Do not approach zina. This is how it starts. Chatting, messages, whether on mobile phones, or Skype, Facebook, friendship between boys and girls definitely leads to that most of the time. This, let me withdraw the word definitely, but most of the time this is what happens. Because of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set down rules and regulations in order to eliminate this disease from the society. A society which does not recognize halal and haram with regards to the relationship between the man and a woman is a society where a huge percentage of their children do not know who is the father. Is a society which is messed up and a corrupt society. And you know what I'm talking about. These are facts. You can just Google it. See the percentage in the states, in many European countries, how many children do not know who is their father. Whether it is the person who's married to the mother or her colleague secretary or manager or employer or employee or an electrician why because we do not follow the guidelines of the creator when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in surah al-nur قُلِّ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّ مِنْ أَذُصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُوا فُرُوجَهُمْ ذَلِكَ أَزْكَ لَهُمْ command the believing men to lower their gaze why in order to guard their chastity, their privates, this is purer for them. So he forbade us from looking at the beauty of a woman who's not lawful for us. Why? Because it helps us to protect our chastity. But when there is no hijab, whenever there is an absolute freedom without conditions, without guidelines, and everybody can do whatever they want, it's a mess, it's a chaos. It's inviting. Inviting even for innocent and ordinary people to fall into the act of zina. Billah. Those who send their daughters to study here and there and travel without a mahram and they stay in the dorm or still with boys in order to get a degree and along with that a baby. I'm not saying uh, this is something that it has to happen, but it happens in many cases. So when something like that happens, you should not cry. You should not blame the daughter. You should blame yourself. Nor the son. You should blame yourself. Because he did not listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As far as this girl and her boyfriend, I invite them both to repent unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Before going for Umrah, you should repent and quit and stop meeting each other. Stop talking to each other until you repent sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah guide us.